Well, when I first wake up, usually my initial thought is, do I have to get up? <laughs> do I have to go to class? Generally, within the next five minutes, I come to the conclusion that if I don't go to class, I'm going to miss something important. I'm going to regret it later. I always feel better after class, so why would I deny myself? And then I'm like, oh gosh, I'm going to be late for class, and then I catapult out of bed. I run from my dorm to Bitsy and usually gets my blood going, so I like to say I warmed up before class. So in ballet class, I do really enjoy starting with plies, finding my correct placement that will hopefully carry me through. Uh, not just that class, but the rest of the day. But probably my favorite combination would be decaches because usually the music is very inspirational. I don't know, they just kind of, they're fun. For me, they're very fun, and, but at the same time, there are elements of it that I struggle with a lot, which would be like, moving fast does not come naturally to me. You know, ballet and art is such a kind of right brain dominated exercise and activity. Um, at the same time, there's still logistics to it. There's still, you know, basic math skills that are useful and basic logical application. You know, behind the artistry, there's a very methodical, logical, and smart way that you should approach your dancing. So right after ballet class, I have... Um, my point technique class. Go grab your shoes, get ready for round two. And um, it, it's, an, it's a fun class because it, it's still ballet, which is what I really love, but there's an extra professionalism that comes with it and difficulty that makes it very fun to me. And um, But in some ways it, it makes a few steps easier and more enjoyable that on in flat shoes might be difficult then it can really be a fun thing to be able to attack those turns and not have so much weighing you down and holding you back. The on to dawn turns, it just feels so amazing. It's kind of what I crave every day in class. I have to do at least one. Yeah, my midday relief is lunch and just hanging out with friends, talking about how our classes went, what we're looking forward to, whatever test we have to study for, sharing life stories, getting to know each other better. So it's fun to go to lunch and usually sit with dancers and all the jokes that can come with that as well. <laughs> Just a nice little break to sit and breathe and enjoy the company of other people. Yeah. So modern is next after lunch and I get to let my hair down, I get to relax a little more in class. Although there's a lot of technique that goes into modern, I feel like I'm able to forego some of the technique that is, you know, more manifested in um, ballet class and point class. So it's a time to keep moving, keep dancing, but um, be able to release a little more and continue myself in dancing. So, an aspect of modern dance that I usually really enjoy is floor work, as opposed to standing up and having to be in parallel. It kind of answers both what do I like best about modern and, and what is the most challenging. Well, my last class of the day comes a little bit later, goes a little bit later into the day. It's, um, I have math. It just kind of clicks in my brain, so it's very simple and methodical and logical, and I guess, so it's a good um, balance, I guess, to all the creative right brain things. I get this nice logical left brain, you know, the world still works in a straight line kind of thing. Um, yeah, so at the end of my day, I'll head back to my room and you know, have some time to kind of breathe and be by myself usually and being not a morning person, I am a night person and so night time is um, a time for me to wind down but also a time that I really like to get things done so uh, I'll read like a paragraph or a chapter depending on you know how late it is kind of thing um, of my Bible 
Just kind of make sure everything's as in line as it can be for the next morning. And then lights out. <laughs> That's pretty much my my whole day. <laughs>